Hi, this is Chris with CAD Dimensions here with another tech tip. Sometimes, when you go to install a new version of SOLIDWORKS or modify an existing installation, you may encounter this error. It reads, the source folder is not versioned properly. It's followed by a path and the files it's looking for. The cause of this issue is that the identification file that SOLIDWORKS is looking for is no longer at that path it is looking for. The most common causes for this are downloaded files that have since been deleted, or if you install SOLIDWORKS using an external drive of some kind which is no longer attached to the machine. Luckily, the solution to this is pretty simple and I'll be walking you through that right now. What we're gonna do is first things, you wanna capture this path listed here. So if you highlight it and say control C, that is the easiest way to capture that. And we're going to open the Windows File Explorer and I've navigated to a close by location. And you just want to say paste to get the path in there. Now in this case, you can see I run into an error saying that path does not exist. If it, Windows can't find it, it does not exist. And we need to create that path if you run into this additional error. Luckily, in this case, I'm already in this parent folder, so all I need to do is to create this folder which houses that file. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click New Folder SOLIDWORKS 2023 SP0.1. We're going to go into that location, and you can verify that that is the same path shown in there. No problem, now we're in the right location. Now this path exists. What we need to do now is to create this swdata99.id file. We're going to create a text document by right clicking in the open space, new text document. And we're going to call it swdata99, easy enough. Double click that file to open it. And all you have to enter in here is your SOLIDWORKS version you're attempting to either modify or install. And in this case, it is SOLIDWORKS 2023 SP0.1. If it should be SP03, if it is just SP3. If there's a decimal like SP2.1, then enter 2.1. Just make sure that is a match for the version you're trying to install. That's all we have to enter into here. So we're going to say file save and close out of that. Now what we need to do, so we have the file reading SWData99. Now what we need to do is get that .id because this currently is a .txt. So what we need to do is to get the file extension to show here so that we can modify it. So that we get SWData99.id instead of .txt. So to do that in Windows 11 here, it is view show file name extensions in Windows 10. It will be view, and then there will be an option somewhere around here for a checkbox, which is still called file name extensions. And we want to click that to turn that on. You'll know it's on because now you can see it reads .txt here. What we want to do is rename this file and change that .txt to .id. You will see this prompt that you're changing a file name extension. This is what we want to do, and you want to go ahead and say yes. You can see now it reads .id, and the icon has changed. That's how you know it's been done correctly, as well as the type is showing as an ID file. So what we can do now, we're done with the hard part, that we can say OK here, and we're going to have the SOLIDWORKS installer try to find that location again. So we say modify now, and you can see it goes through without any problem smooth sailing from there. If you for any reason run into a problem with this or anything else related to SOLIDWORKS, feel free to submit a support case with CAD Dimensions and we'll be happy to help you out.